Hi guys, so this far we've learned about dot op analysis, dot dc analysis, dot ac analysis, and now is the time for dot tran analysis. And I'm going to select an inverter circuit for the transient analysis. Now, how does the circuit look like? This is a circuit. We have a P channel MOSFET and an N channel MOSFET, P MOS and N MOS, input, output, and a source. Now this is a digital inverter. So if I give a zero here, I'll get a one, and if I give a one here, I get a zero. Okay. So let's select the components. First, what do we need? P MOS. So then we need N MOS. Okay, but now the drains has to be connected together and the sources has to be connected to VDD and ground. So I rotate it and mirror it. So here is my PMOS and NMOS here. What else do I need? Voltage source. So I select voltage sources. Click. One is for input and one will be for the supply. That is VDD. Okay, now let's make the connections. The drains are connected together. Drains. These are the gates. Okay, now let's label. I'll say output OUT. This is my output. And this is my input. So I'll say in. Okay, and input. Fine. So my VDD. I want to be 5 volt and as for input since we are doing a transient analysis I want my input to change with respect to time so I'll say advanced and PWL so what can I say here for time say for at 20 second my input is 0 at 30 second my input is 5 and so on now let's say transient so run and in transient you don't need to provide all these stop time is enough so I say stop at 50 seconds so just 50 and ok now let's plot add trace v in c at 20 nanoseconds it is 0 volts and at 30 nanoseconds it is 5 volts Okay, now let us see the output. So I say right click, add trace and V out. Oh, V in I have already plotted, so I'll just backspace and say okay. So now you see when input is low, output is high, when output is high, input is low, and when there is a transition occurring, yes, the output also changes. So this is how. A transient analysis run now what else can you do you only saw one change right what if you want something else see like let's right click here and I say uh, at 10 nanoseconds it is 0 then at 20 it is 5 then again at 40 it is 5 and 50 it goes 0 you know high to low pulse if you want to add more points you can say additional PWL points I say ok and I'll just increase the transient analysis to say 80 and I say ok and then run yes so this is what I get A high to low pulse of the output and a low to high pulse 
okay now what if you want to check how much time does it take for the pulse to go from a high to low and then a low to high so what do you do the cursor method yes this is V out signal so I just right click and I say attach first and second that is both the cursors so let's see where is my first cursor oh yes I found it so I'll say I want to measure from 10% of the maximum value to 90% so maximum value 10% is here where is my second yes so I just align it so I, it takes this much time for my input to actually change okay so how much time is it the horizontal is the time in seconds and vertical is voltage so time in seconds and this is the difference so it takes around 3 seconds 3.09 seconds for the input to change so this is how you use the cursor and the trans signal well you can also use many other advanced signal like instead of PWL you can apply pulse and then you say some initial values and voltages well these are not the values to be mentioned I say period of one let's start from the beginning initial value is 5 on how much on V is how much is the voltage so I wanted 5 let initial be 0 then any delays no or let's say just 5 second delay rise time that is the time required to rise this is the rise time let's say it's 10 fall time is 10 on time is 20 and 1 say ok and then you run what you see here is a near to pulse that is because we didn't give the values properly so if I just change the on time to say 10 nope my period should be more what about 50 yes it is correct so this is a pulse and it continues but since I am only measuring up to 80 seconds it is showing up to 80 so with this we are done with our transient analysis thank you oh yes don't forget to save it